The Story of Robert Smalls Robert Smalls was an African American whose bravery, intellect, and resourcefulness expanded the boundaries of what black people were capable of achieving in late 19th century America. He was born in 1839 in Beaufort, South Carolina to his mother Lydia Polite and an unidentified white father. Born in slavery, Smalls worked for most of his adolescence in Charlestown, South Carolina under the Confederacy. In May of 1862, he took control of the USS Planter, a ship used for guns, ammunition, and slave transportation for the Confederate Army. While his supervisors were absent, he traveled through the dense Confederate waters using the proper hand signals he learned as a ship's commandeer, as well as a long hat to hide his identity. He and his fellow slaves escaped to the safety of the North, where the planter was converted into a Union battleship. During the Civil War, Smalls was given command of the planter, along with the USS Keokuk, which was sunk in combat. His heroics during battle, however, earned them the respect of his comrades and commanders alike. Following the Civil War, Smalls invested in advocacy for public education, as well as establishing a store for freemen in Beaufort. He also served as a senator and representative for South Carolina, and had four children, continuing the lineage and legacy of a great man. A fun fact about Smalls is that with his newfound economic success, he repurchased the property of the slave owner that held him and his mother, a triumphant victory that rewarded and recognized his transcendence from harsh struggles, along with President Barack Obama's executive order in 2017, establishing the Reconstruction Era National Monument in Beaufort, South Carolina, which recognized the heroics and courage of a great man.